Welcome to the first episode of It's All Clutter in 2021. I am so excited to be here with you this year, supporting you on your decluttering and organizing journey. In this episode, we're gonna talk about the difference between decluttering, organizing, and containing your clutter. What's the right order to work in and why do I never recommend that you purchase any organizing bins? <music> The big box organizing industry will have you believe that in order to have an organized home, you just need the perfect product. You need this perfect bin, or you need to purchase an organizing system for your house. And that is going to magically take a certain space in your home and make it organized. Let me tell you the actual truth. Organization cannot happen in your house unless you declutter first. The correct order to work is declutter, which means take your stuff, go through it, get rid of what doesn't fit in your space and what you don't love and what is not relevant to your life today. Declutter first, then organize, which is simply putting like items together in one single spot. And then at the very end of the process, if you absolutely must, you can contain your organized stuff. And that would be when you purchase a box or a bin that you love for what you have. But the problem that we, the problem that I see all the time is that people skip right to the end, purchasing the containers, purchasing the bins before they get started. So they say, I'm going to declutter and organize this weekend and I need to go buy some containers. When you're decluttering, if you're bringing stuff into your house, even if it's in the name of organization, you're adding to the overall amount of stuff that you own. You're adding to your clutter. You're standing in your own way. The truth is, if you do an awesome job decluttering and you're really, truly living within the storage space that you have in your home, which is always the end goal, live comfortably within your space, if you do a really good job decluttering, organization becomes actually less critical and less important and containing your stuff once you're organized becomes even less relevant. So hear me out. If you declutter all of your hats and scarves down to the one favorite pair, the one pair that you actually wear all the time, you're not gonna have to worry so much about getting organized because you only have one pair of scarves, one, you know, one scarf, one hat, and one pair of gloves. You don't need to organize that. It's that's it. Because <laughs> organization only the need for organization decreases with the less stuff that you have. Organization enables you to see everything that you have in one category all at once. But if you declutter really well, you're going to know exactly what you have and where it is because your stuff is not going to be hiding behind other stuff. The further that you go with your decluttering, the easier organization is. Decluttering unlocks the key to success with organization. You don't have to buy anything to unlock that key. You have to get rid of stuff. It's the exact opposite of what advertisers tell us over and over and over again. It's not that I'm completely opposed to purchasing bins or boxes. I just see this mistake being made all the time where we bring in so many bins and so many boxes and they end up adding to our overwhelm because we're organizing such a large quantity of stuff. It's never going to stay organized because we're still living outside of our storage space in our home. And it's like a math equation that just doesn't make any sense. If you're trying to store 3x stuff and x is the amount of space that you have, it's never going to stay organized because 3x does not fit into x. So if you're a math brain and that resonates with you, you know, 3x does not fit into x. 3x does not equal x. If you have 3x stuff and you have x storage space, it's just not going to work. So before you go out and spend money and bring more stuff into your house, consider reducing what you have dramatically and take it from there. You might need to declutter once and then declutter twice and then declutter three times, but the more that you declutter, the easier it gets. 
And the great thing about decluttering is that you probably already have tons of boxes and bins in your house. And when you start decluttering, you're going to free up a lot of those boxes and a lot of those bins, and you're going to have them to use when you get to the end of the process and you need to contain some of the remaining stuff. So just think about it, declutter, then organize, then contain only if absolutely necessary. Don't bring more stuff into your house to make the entire process more complicated right from the beginning. Feel free to just let it go. Thanks so much for joining me on this episode of It's All Clutter. Go ahead and like and subscribe so that you get notified every time there's a new episode. We'll be back weekly now with new podcast episodes every week. And let me know if there's a topic that you would love to hear about. I'll see you guys next time.